Yesterday I posted my video where I showed this book and what I was going to use my hall pipe cleaners for. And I got some requests from people who wanted to see how I fixed the book. How I finished the butterfly. So we'll go into it in a little more depth right now. See what happens. Now, the butterfly was completely torn off. Can you see that? Oops, wrong way completely torn off from its support piece. But I can figure out by the way the book closed that the original butterfly just glued to those tabs that were folded perpendicular to the book. There you can see them. This way. And when the book closes, the butterfly folds in the middle. So, you know the way I do things. I just quickly cut <laughs> right here as a matter of fact. I folded a piece of drop paper like so and just freehand cut a butterfly which is there and then I cut a piece of cardstock that was laying around and mounted that I'm not happy with the way that's bending right there, but um, it is what it is. It's a pop-up book. Hopefully my butterfly will last a little longer. Okay, quit that. Um, so, I got these sticks. And I have to decide... Excuse me, which color I want. Do I want blue or do I want green? Blue or green? Got an awful lot of orange in the orange. No, let's try pink. No. Okay, no orange. I got yellow. Let's see what yellow looks like. Do butterflies have yellow antennas? That goes with the book pages a little better, but that goes with the butterfly better. Blue. If I had planned this, <laughs> We know how that goes. Mm -hmm. um, I have some new, for me, Lindy's. <clears throat> and if I'm going to spray anything, I need to protect... pages. My poor deli papers just get used until there's Nothing left, but that's that's a good thing, right? Need to cover that right there. Put that there, and we got another hole right there. And we'll tear this in half. Use what you got. Okay. Okay, you're going to say okay 14 more times. Let's try... I forgot what this looks like. Okay, so go over here to last week's exercise. Moon Shadow Mist. Wait. 
there. Tibetan poppy. I like Tibetan poppy. That's this one. Oh. When you're shaking a glimmer spray, shake like you're in Downton Abbey and you're ringing the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Don't throw it over your shoulder up and down like that because that's a surefire way to get uh, mica. <coughs> Excuse me. Mica in the spray bottle part. And the other things I read this morning, somebody said that when they've done done it correctly, they end up with bubbles at the bottom of their jar. So, oh, that's a dauber. Uh, well, that works good. Do I have it? Daphinium turquoise. That's a green. Treasure Island Aqua has brown. Actually, the dauber works pretty darn good. So there's that one. And there is Ponderosa Pines. Now, daubers, it's just the spray bottles you have to not shake like this. So we covered all that for nothing. So let's just come in here and put some little dauber. Blue sure was pretty. Party, party, party. I just happened to have here some Tattered Angels Glam. And this is Luck of the Irish. And I'll need a paintbrush for this. Let's see. Da -da 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 Putting just a little glimmer here and there. Don't need much of anything because my drop paper was so cool. Okay, put that up. Clean my brush off. Ooh. Need to clean my water bowl. Had something white in it. Alright, I'm going to dry that. I have absolutely no plan. Okay? Okay. We have silks by um, Color Art. That might be kind of fun. And I'm supposed to take the lids off all my watercolor H2O's. Because that's the way Leslie O said she keeps hers. And mine are in a drawer, so they're safe from all kinds of stuff that might float around. This will enable them to dry out and prevent any kind of mold that might want to play in your parade. These are watercolors <clears throat> and they're in a pot. I 
and you reconstitute them when you get ready to use them. You bored yet? This is what happens in an art room. You spend an awful lot of time getting ready and putting away. Organizing, using it, putting it away. Whoops, that one already got the lid off. <clears throat> I'm also stalling because I have no idea what I'm going to do. Now, I will put all these lids in a little Ziploc. This one is iridescent blue. That'll be perfect. So put those there for now. Get my little pipette. It's one of these little things. I've had them forever. Put a couple drops of water in because I won't be using much of it. I don't think I'm going to use the silk because all that's going to do is make a a glaze on top of everything and I think what I really want is uh, I like the colors standing out you have to wait five minutes or so while we're waiting well, look at this gorgeous color I don't have my light on again do, 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 do. I'll get back in the swing of things, guys. Never fear. Aren't you excited? I'll get back in the swing of things. Anyway, look at that beautiful color. I don't know how they do it, but that mica appears to be ground up in the pigment. I'm, I'm not a chemist, but I'm just saying. Beautiful, beautiful color. Okay. And the other thing I'm going to use is this uh, fine tip. If y'all watched my video on the wine bottle that I did with Totally Canvas Cork Products, I mixed up some... <clears throat> what did I mix up? Acrylic polymer with... Um, I think it was... Afraid of the Dark Glimmer Mist. And I had a little bit of golden micaceous iron oxide in a fluid acrylic. And I put it in the fine tip bottle and I've still got some left. What I did with this was Zentangles. And it's kind of a dark blue. I may wish I had something a little more black. But I don't, so we're going with that. As soon as this liquefies and we see... Ah what it does. Now, most of this stuff on here, oh yeah, 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 baby, baby. The stuff I just put on here, the sprays and the, those are water-based, so they will lift if I monkey around with this too much. But if I just glaze over the top carefully and then leave it alone, it should add just a glimmer and this is an iridescent blue. Looks white, but depending on which direction you look at it. It changes color. Ooh, like magic. And this is a Twinkling H2O. They're commonly called Twinks.
I think I'm going to put just a little more water in that and let that sit for just a minute. Put it right up here. Okay. I'm going to hit that with a Move that out of the way. I don't need it. And that was open. That's not good. Alrighty. First thing I'm going to do, maybe, you know, I think I can get rid of these. No, oh, eh. Do I? Before I take them away, I want to see if I can add a little bit of gold. This is Glimmer Mist Gold it's by Tattered Angels. Just because I can. Alright, now I can get rid of my spray protectors. Oh yeah, I can see it all really nicely. I need to, there's a little bit of wet right there. First thing I'm going to do is paint the body. Anybody can be dark blue, can it? Of course it can. And this stuff is so thick that I had to put the lid back on it often. It's only been in here since the 1st of January. Sometimes getting these to thread is a trick. If you put your put the nozzle that you're going into on your finger flat, that makes threading that just a little bit easier. See? I appear to have a clot, which I'm not surprised. Oops, there it went. It may take this 40 forevers to dry. I don't want that to um, be solid. It have a little bit of an artsy flair to it. Prop that up just a little. I'm going to see if I can clean my thing out again. I'm 
try to go around the edges. I'm not trying. I am going around the edges. Hope my head's not all up in there. See a spot I didn't get glued down good. The projects we get into for the little ones. The writer will be two this summer. My niece and her husband don't really realize what a good baby they've got. He never fussed, never throws temper tantrums. He was a little colicky when he was three months old, but Aunt Vicky knew how to fix that. I am the baby whisperer. Time for another declop. Holding these bottles and squeezing is not one of my favorite things. I've got the tops for the Dina Wakely paints. And they're heavy body. The tip is a little bit bigger than this. But they were hard for me to squeeze and control at the same time. Now this will be a little bit three-dimensional. If I can get enough of it out of the tip.
All those iridescent colors are so pretty. Alright. I'm going to turn this off for a minute. And what did I do with the thing? Here it is. And I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. I dried that a little bit. Let me see if I can get it where y'all can see it. Oops, this way, this way. There you go. You see that glimmer? Iridescent. Pretty, huh? Um, the stuff that I put, the glimmer glaze and tattered angels that I put in that bottle, has a chemical makeup that if you uh, get it real hot, it'll bubble which adds to the three-dimensional effect on the butterfly, which I like. Yeah, I know, you're not supposed to breathe that stuff, but I don't do it 14 times a day. Now, my idea is to... I don't make jewelry, but I've got the little thingies to do it with. If I can hold them down and wrap that, which you can't do. I just want to make a little curly cue. Like that. See? Isn't that cute? Cute. Now, I have to make sure that it doesn't stick out when the book is closed. I mean, yeah, when the book is closed. Hello. So that's going to be about right. I can actually go melt like that. Okay, melt like that. Cut it. Now we'll do another one. Oh, that's the way to do it. Don't curl it with your other hand. Oh, I swear, I get smarter every day. Now loosen that one just a little. And measure. And cut. Now, how are we going to put those on? I'm going to use this goop. You know, this has been opened once and used, and it was just about dried up the other day. I wasn't happy about that. Real thick. Craft mat. Back again. My card filled up. I heard it beep, but I didn't know exactly what it was doing. I decided I'm going to put a little strip. Well, I got both of the antennas on. There you can kind of see them. Isn't that cute? I'm going to put a little piece of duct tape on the back. I saw the coolest thing yesterday where on your duct tapes and stuff, put a paper clip there and it'll help you find the end. I thought that was an awesome idea. 
cut that in half because I don't need that much. This is just extra insurance. Burnish that down as good as I can with my fingers. Okay, I'm gonna call that done. See the shinies? Let it sit and dry and bye. Thank you.